Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan, and I will be walking you through fourth grade Bible reading week number 13, and we are going to be reading through a chapter in the book of Mark, Mark chapter 7, from verse 1 to verse 23. So, I am going to ask you, please get your Bible, and turn to that particular chapter of the Bible, and then we are going to answer a few questions right after the reading, okay? So, let's get started with reading Mark chapter 7, and from verse 1 to verse 23. Mark chapter 7 Then the Pharisees and some of the scribes came together to him, having come from Jerusalem. Now when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is, with unwashed hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands in a special way, holding the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other things which they have received and hold, like the washing of cups, pitchers, copper vessels, and couches. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said to them, well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men the washing of pitchers and cups, and many other such things you do. He said to them, All too well you reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and, he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, If a man says to his father or mother, Whatever profit you might have received from me is korban, that is, a gift to God then you no longer let him do anything for his father or his mother, making the word of God of no effect through your tradition which you have handed down. And many such things you do. When he had called all the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear me, everyone, and understand, there is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile a man. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. When he had entered a house away from the crowd, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. So he said to them, Are you thus without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatever enters a man from outside cannot defile him, because it does not enter his heart but his stomach? and is eliminated, thus purifying all foods. And he said, What comes out of a man, that defile a man? For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. Alright, so hopefully you got a chance to read the Bible along with us. So let us answer a few questions and do topical studying so that we can internalize the content a little bit better. Alright, so Mark chapter 7 from verse 1 to 23 
uh, you are going to see there is actually one main story over there. So the main story was how the Pharisees and some of the scribes became indignant when Jesus, with Jesus because his disciples were eating with hands that were not washed. In other words, the Jews don't eat except they wash their hands in certain ceremonial way. And Jesus told them, well, actually, what God was trying to tell you guys to do back in the Old Testament is to wash your minds. Because what defiles a person will be the thoughts that come out of their hearts. It's not necessarily the physical dirt that defiles people. <laughs> it is the mind. So wash your thoughts, wash your perspectives, wash your minds, rather. So Jesus uses that opportunity to teach the Pharisees about the spiritual meaning of hand washing and that ceremony back in the Old Testament. Alright, so let's answer a few questions here. Question number one, why were the Pharisees annoyed at Jesus and his disciples? Well, because... The disciples were eating without washing their hands. Okay, so that's the reason they got annoyed, simply put, or offended at Jesus. All right, so Jesus said evil thoughts will defile. Is this true or false? Absolutely true. So that's the spirit behind that ceremony of trying to wash your hands and wash your feet. Back in the Old Testament, they were really particular about that. And rightfully so, because God gave, gave them that instruction back in the Old Testament. But that instruction literally is just to tell them that, please remember to wash your mind and wash your wheel. Alright, so please go ahead and turn to page number 32. You are going to see a place over there where you could journal. Uh, very well and to, that's going to help you to retain the content a little bit better. I want to thank you for joining me today boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born your friend So don't you